the best dog in the race. He knows the time of day. The Voss man, red for me here, but a two runner book, one and five with the bookies. Popsy? Yeah, I mean, Meadow have got, has got the, the best times over six and eight bends. Clark is with the, the Red Ribble Atom, plenty of support for Inch Ford. Good to see the Voss man as well. He was He'll yeah. be leading the cheers at the back of the stands here at Yarmouth, and it's just great. It, the same every year, East Anglian Derby final night, the locals support yeah. it and they're going to roar the winners home. Great atmosphere down there. Yeah, he's done the double stint as well, this boss man, because I saw him in the races earlier on today. He was enjoying a couple of Jamie Spencer, I think the Jamie Spencer winner earlier on there. Right, six to four, the field, trap five's the favourite inch forward. Let's go live to Errol Blythe for the marathon. Yes, twice round, 843 metres here for the Sun Bet. You betcha, 71st East Anglian Derby is the marathon for tonight. The starter waves the flag. And the hair is on the move, hair running. So here comes the hair. We're expecting early pace from Meadow and Abel winner. Away they go, and uh, certainly Meadow's away well, not so much Abel winner, but four, uh, Kalara Farrow comes through as well. So it's Meadow and Kalara Farrow who dispute the early lead. Oh, there's trouble at the back there, two Abel winner and five inch forward, heading down the far side, and three Meadows hit the front. So Meadows out in front here by a good four lengths over four, Kalara Farrow, after these come six, that's Swift Molly, with over a lap to go, then after these we've got one, Ribble Atom, five, inch forward, and bringing up the rear is two, Abel winner, as they go past the pack stands here at Yarmouth, and you betcha it's three, Meadow who's leading the way here, roaring away behind me, it's Meadow who's struck clear now, and has got about a good five lengths clear, inch forward, inching forward at the moment to try and move up in the second place, and Ribble Atom's there as well, as they come around the final bend, and it's Meadow, you betcha, Meadow will hold on, Meadow beats Ribble Atom, an inch forward. Well, the Sun Bets team will be happy about that. You betcha that Meadow wins the marathon, leading all the way here. After a good start for trainer John Mullins, goes on to score, done it before here at Yarmouth. And a little bit of relief for John because unfortunately his puppy was knocked over in the first. Oh yes, yes, yes. So it's nice to get a winner on the board on the home track. And it was Meadow who provided the goods here. Got a good start, Meadow with Kalara Farrow, they cut out the early running as they went into the first bend. It was trouble at the turn. Two and five, both able winner an inch forward involved in that trouble. So still a good run from inch forward, the amount of ground that it's lost. 53.42 was the winning time from Meadow. Landing the spoils here, getting out in front and dictating the pace. As you can see, Ribble Atom always takes his time to get going as we all know, and inch forward is another strong finisher. It's done a lot of running, considering the amount of ground that it lost at that first bend. But Meadow, that's win number 20 now from 80 starts. Strutting his stuff, or strutting her stuff, I should say. Strutting her stuff here at Yarmouth, an impressive win all the same with Ribble Atom staying on in behind. And back in third was inch forward. Inch forward done no favours here at the first bend, lads, didn't you think? Yeah, she was stopped in her tracks big time, Errol, inch forward. And that was the end of the favourites chance, I'm afraid. You can see six checking out wide, wanted to be as wide as possible as well. Swift Molly caught on the heels of Kilara Farrow there. But while all that was going on, Meadow was making the best of her way home for, for John Mullins and the team. Of course, they're on a high. They've got a finalist in the gold collar next week and a big winner tonight with Meadow. Yeah, fantastic for Hal Berlin, Lee Calcutt, Peter Lang and... and uh... Uh, Keith Park in a meadow absolutely loves it here. Remark that uh, in terms of 2017 form, has got fastest open race times over uh, six and eight bends, and she stretched them out, taking advantage of problems, of course, for the favourite. It did so well to get herself back into the picture. Ribble Atom, we know, just stays all day, and she'll be staying, of course, over 874 metres on uh, Tuesday as well. She couldn't quite get uh, to meadow. Yeah, it looks like Ribble Atom probably wants a lap of Yarmouth horse race tracks, and she rather than a greyhound track. She just stay, she takes so long to get going, Ribble Atom. She just lacks that bit of middle pace. Yeah, but I mean, she turns handy and then just lacks, I think, a, a little bit of middle pace as well, and then stays on again. But, you know, she's a grand servant, of course, for Mark Wallace and Lord Hesker twice. As you say, a TV trophy final. It's 53 42, the winning time for Meadow Sopranos fans up and down the country, kicking on with the three. And as you say, for John uh, Mullins, uh, absolutely thrilled, of course, the same connections 
Jason's own bada bing, of course, has uh, just been uh, remarked to me. Great effort from Meadow. They'll be thrilled, and the, hopefully the boys are, are downstairs en masse at the presentation. Yeah, John Mullins, that's a big night, isn't it? You mentioned Bader Bing won the uh, Nottingham Breed, uh, British Breeders race, didn't it, earlier uh, last year. And, of course, uh, John Mullins also with the champion stakes winner last year, Ascot Woody, he's won the, uh, this race, the East Anglia Derby, of course, three years ago now with Swift Keith on that emotional night. And a winner here with Meadow, well done to the team. Lee Calcutt did say he fancied this one earlier on, so well done to Lee, hopefully he had a few quid on, he's having a good day. And Meadow has made just about every metre trail, I love a trailblazer in a marathon. And yeah, she's done it well. And it's been a good, good day. I think Colin uh, Hadley was at uh, the pickup uh, today. I'd imagine it was uh, Jeff Buckley was at, uh, at Crayford this afternoon there. Oakfield Caesar, another you know great season open race what campaign. What a great winning. campaign he's been, isn't he? Oakfield yeah, Caesar. certainly has. Labrick's Gold Collar semi-final. Won his heat on Saturday. He's won his semi-final today. He's in Tuesday. His mm. final's going to be a, a fantastic card, of course. Spice by not just the uh, Labrick's Gold Collar, the old Catford competition. You can see John Mullins there, all smiles there with uh, with Simon uh, Franklin, the, the boss here. They'll be thrilled. Uh, Kent Cesaric and, of course, the Labrick's Guys and Dolls. There was a runoff there uh, on Saturday before racing. OK, 7-4. to four. Second favourite, Meadow beats Ribble Atom at 5-2. to two. Three, one, five. Forecast 7.78. Tricast 11.86. Let's go and join Daryl now with winning connections. She's got a brilliant record round here, hasn't she, at Yarmouth? Go through her card, 6, 5, 9, 8, 4, 3. Doesn't really matter. She just runs this track so well. And a very popular winner, a local winner. Let's uh, get across to John, if we can, in amongst uh, one or two owners. Oh, shit. First of all, John, how is that? Oh, yes, 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 after that tumble, yeah, all right? I went round there, and he's uh, got him very well, and he ran round, round well, so he's, all, he's good. This isn't quite a Swift Keith moment, I guess, but it's a, you know, a winner for you on Yarmouth Derby final night at your local track. Yeah, we need a winner. I have to get a winner. Seriously, yeah. it has to be like that, really? Yeah, seriously, yes, yeah. I need a winner. And to be honest, the way Meadows performed tonight, I guess you were pretty confident from early on. Um, I said to the boys that, you know, she's got a lead, which, you know, uh, I think if she leads that uh, I don't think she'll get picked up. Uh, she does run this track exceptionally well, doesn't she? She loves this track, and in the six men race, she got knocked out the other night uh, where she was at the pickup. She was about four or five in front. You know, you had to fancy her. So, um... Yeah, you know, I'm well pleased. And as you say, obviously attached to Yarmouth, we know what this means to obviously this, this venue. So, look, you're sort of half, half joking, I guess, but no, it is Im you weren't joking at all. No. It is important to get a winner on this night. It's important to get a, win a winner any night. You know, winners will keep you going. But, um, you yeah, know, I'm well pleased. Well pleased. But uh, Lee's here and Chris. The uh, guys are all here. We, we better dig across and have a, have a word over, over our shoulder here. Lee's right behind us here. And, um, yes, nice nice run from Meadow. I was just saying to John, I mean, she does run this, this track really well, doesn't she? Yeah, but she started off here, graded, and it's kind of home from home. So, yeah, she loves it, yeah. yeah. You, you guys are, you know, pretty shrewd in finding the right greyhounds and hopefully back in the right greyhounds. What was the, the sort of team thoughts going into this race tonight? Well, I think we had the whole...